Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Yin Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I did receive this sample from Yin directly, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this keyboard or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at that retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. You'll notice we have blue switches on this mechanical keyboard. There's also RGB. It's 10 key list, so it's gonna be smaller and more compact on your desk. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Looking for a secure and reliable way to access the internet? Look no further than ExpressVPN. Protect your personal information and browsing history from prying eyes. Act now and sign up for ExpressVPN today using our link in the description and receive an extra three months of service for free. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring our one year warranty information in multiple languages. Next, you'll see we have our user guide and manual right here, complete with our tech specs for the keyboard. Some key features, shortcuts as well, to walk through all the different controls for it. Next, you'll see we have some extra blue switches here. This is really thoughtful and great, as well as our key and keycap polar tools. So if we need to do any repair, swap anything out, we can do that right here. Let's give you a nice close up of the switches. Good clicky sound. Not sure if you can hear that. Try to click it in the microphone. But nice blue switch here. See it from the back side. Plugs right into your keyboard. And then lastly, you'll see the keyboard itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at this in more detail. Here's a close up of the keyboard. You'll notice the Egan logo and branding right there. We have the 10 key list design, US layout. Take a look at the top, both sides, the other side, the back side. You'll see here we have three different cable management channels straight out the back or to the left and to the right. And just press the cable down in place. Also have our two legs to adjust the height. And four nice grip feet right there. Additional product info with our serial number and model information. You'll also see too, we have a nice long braided USB type A cable here to plug right into our computer. And when we're typing on it, we get a feel for how clicky the keys are. But it's very nice as you've come to expect with the mechanical keyboard, that experience carries on here. Now let's plug it in and try it out. So the keyboard's plug and play within Windows. It downloaded a driver and worked right away. We didn't have to click any buttons or anything like that. It set itself up automatically. But I do want to point out there's no software to control or configure this keyboard. Everything will have to be done using the keyboard itself. So you don't want to lose the user guide. I'll walk you through some of the control settings. Not your typical function controls using the F keys, but we'll go over some of the brightness and RGB settings with this keyboard. So let's turn off the lights and dive in. All right, so here's a look at our static red color on the keyboard. First tip and trick, you can use the function key and adjust the brightness. You have off, you have low, medium, and high for the brightness there. Then we can press function and SL, and you'll see now we have a new effect here. I like that one, look at how cool that is. Function SL again, you'll see the effect. So we can keep going through the effects here, just a solid green. Now we have it changing colors for green. You'll see now we're gonna cycle through a bunch of different colors here. Try to hold it up as we cycle through them. Looks really nice. Let's go to our next one. Ooh, that's cool. Good looking keyboard. Love all the beautiful RGB on it. I wish it was a little bit brighter though. I don't think my camera does a good job capturing it. It's decently bright. That's a cool effect. So basically you can pick and choose your effect here. all the colors for you on it. It's got a good range. Fun effects, it's gonna snake back and forth. And then you'll see, oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it.
Got our nice purple. You'll see it'll change colors for purple. Got multicolors again. Our RGB. We've seen these before. Don't have our red again though. Got our green. Back to our purple. So you get the idea here with what effects we have. It just seems like we can go through a bunch. We're back to some of our reds there and there's the solid red again. So a fair amount of effects that you can pick and choose from with the keyboard, just using the shortcuts on the keyboard itself. And if you don't wanna change effects, you can actually cycle through individual colors right here, holding down these two keys. So our function in the key labeled 7C, and you'll see now we'll flip through all the different static colors here. And they look really nice. We'll do a quick little cycle through, but pretty simple to use some of these keys to change the RGB settings. And lastly, when you're going through the different lighting effects here, let's just turn on this one. We can hold down the function in the left and right arrow keys to slow everything down, or we can speed it up. So you'll be able to adjust the speed there faster or slower. So brightness up and down, and then speed is left or right. You can adjust it that way. So after using this keyboard, let me share with you my final thoughts. Here's what I want to say. There's nothing wrong with this keyboard. The build quality is great. That's probably the best thing it has going for it. But at this price point, it's just not competitive. This is a very, very saturated and competitive market where you can get very similar keyboards. Pick up the 10 keys as well if you want those for half the price. So this one had included software bundled with it where we could customize the keyboard more, set macros, things like that. It would be a much better value. The problem is there's just a lot of competition out there and you'll find very similar keyboards for a lot less. So if you don't care about brand, that's probably the way you should go. But if you do, or there's something about this keyboard that you like, then obviously it's gonna be the keyboard for you.